what if the legacy automakers in the auto industry were about to be knocked out of China? The GM chairman's surprising claim hints that old car brands might be falling behind China, the biggest EV market at the moment. Let's explore what's happening in the Chinese car market. For 30 years, foreign brands have been very popular in China, selling millions of cars and earning huge profits. Companies like Ford and GM have had a pretty good run there, but things are changing and it's not looking good for them anymore. Sales and profits for these companies have dropped and it's causing some real worry. It's like the golden age for foreign car brands in China is coming to an end. This drop has these companies puzzled, trying to figure out how to fix the situation. It's a tough spot to be in, especially when they've been riding high for so long. The Chinese market has been super important for these automakers, but now they're feeling the pressure. They need to figure out what's going on and how to adapt, or they might be left behind in a market they used to dominate. So the big question is, can they recover or will they end up with a smaller share of the market? Last week, Mary Barra, the CEO of General Motors, spoke some pretty strong words about the company's situation in China. She said things are unsustainable right now, which is a big deal because GM has been a major player in the Chinese market for a long time. GM used to represent solid ties between the US and China, but it has faced some challenges in China. This year, it reported a loss of over $200 million, which is its worst performance there in 20 years. So in this case, what will be their plans in China? Recently, Mary Barra shared some updates about the company's strategy for the Chinese market. During a Q&A session at the Wolf Research Global Auto and Auto Tech Conference, she hinted at a new direction for GM, suggesting they might start focusing focusing more on the high-end segment of the market. The shift is seen as a way to boost profits, which is a big deal given the current challenges. Barra also talked about various issues, but her comments on China were particularly interesting. GM has been facing tough times there, with sales dropping since 2017. It's clear they're looking to turn things around, and targeting the luxury car market could be part of their plan. The idea is that focusing on high-end cars, they can appeal to different customer bases and potentially see better profit margins. This move makes sense in a market that's becoming more competitive. By going after the premium segment, GM could carve out a niche where it can really stand out. It's a bold strategy, but it could pay off if it manages to attract those looking for luxury and performance. Mary Barra shared her thoughts on the changing landscape of the Chinese market. She pointed out that things are very different now compared to five years ago. Barra noted that there is a noticeable increase in the number of domestic Chinese companies making electric vehicles, which means more competition for everyone in the industry. She also mentioned that despite the many new players, only a few of these domestic companies are actually profitable. This suggests that there is an adjustment period ahead as the market figures itself out. Barra sees this as an opportunity for General Motors to play to its strengths. She believes GM can make a mark by focusing on the premium or luxury side of the market. She also highlighted General Motors' investment in SGMW or SAI or SAIC GM Wooling, pointing out that this joint venture is very competitive in the more price-sensitive segments of the Chinese market. However, she also emphasized that GM plans to take a different approach in China. But by 2024, that share has jumped to 51%. This rapid growth has created a tough situation for foreign car brands. Chinese companies and Tesla now lead the EV market, making it hard for others to compete. Chinese automakers have a big advantage. They manage to build EVs at a much lower cost compared to their foreign rivals. 
They also pack their vehicles with the latest tech, which keeps them ahead of the competition. Because of this, they can offer high-quality EVs at more affordable prices. So what about the EV sales in China and around the world? Global sales of fully electric and plug-in hybrid vehicles increased by 21% in July compared to the previous year, driven largely by strong growth in China. Despite this global rise, demands for EVs in Europe has been falling. This data comes from market research firm Ro Motion. In Europe, MG Motor, owned by China's SAIC Motor Corp, is expected to be hit hardest by new provisional tariffs on EVs imported from China. According to Ro Motion's data manager Charles Lester, these tariffs will have a bigger impact on MG Motor than on other brands. Tesla, which can produce cars at its Berlin factory, and BYD, a major EV company in China with a relatively small presence in Europe, will likely face less of a negative effect from tariffs. In Europe, overall EV sales dropped by 7.8% in July, bringing year-end sales figures in line with those from 2023. Over the first seven months of this year, EV sales in Germany, the largest EV market market in the EU fell by 12%. In contrast, the market in the US and Canada saw a 7.1% increase in EV sales in July. This shows that while Europe is experiencing a downturn in EV demand, other regions like North America are seeing growth in EV sales. In 2024, China's electric vehicle market is set to generate an impressive $319 billion in revenue. The strong forecast suggests a bright future for the industry. From 2024 to 2028, the market is expected to grow steadily at an annual rate of 5.69%, reaching a projected value of $398 billion by the end of this period. This growth is driven by increasing demand for EVs. Looking at unit sales, it's estimated that China will sell about 8.77 million EVs by 2028. This number highlights the rising popularity and acceptance of EVs among consumers. Additionally, the average price for EVs in China is predicted to be around $46,900 in 2024. This figure shows the current market value and the investment consumers are making in electric vehicles. Overall, these projections reflect a strong and expanding EV market in China, driven by both increasing sales and high your market value. China's electric vehicle market is experiencing rapid growth, driven by government subsidies and a strong infrastructure. These factors are fueling the quick adoption of EVs across the country. The GM's chairman's shocking statement is making waves in the industry, making the battle for EV leadership more heated than ever. So what does the future hold for legacy automakers in China? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel for more content, and ring the bell so you're always up to date with the latest news. Until next time.